Hello, Sparky Pete in Liverpool, by the fire today in Peacock Towers. I just want to introduce you to this book, if you're not aware of it already, Exam Preparation. Um, it used to be called Exam Success, but I suppose you can't guarantee that, hence the name change, the, the, the title change. Now, if I'm going to um, deliver a new version of the exam or deliver a new subject, I always get hold of one of these books because... Um, just to be clear that I'm saying the same things to you that, that City and Guilds would. And to, you know, know the, the exam and the structure in detail. I'll jump straight in on that page. Uh, it's a two-hour exam, it tells us there, and there's 60 questions. And what that does, it breaks down the exam into the number of questions on each part of the regs. I mean, the exam starts at the front of the book with questions about the scope. And it ends at the end of the book with questions about the appendices. Now, I wouldn't use that as a strategy to, to navigate your way through the exam. I mean, the, the take home message there is that if you look at parts four and five, 25%, 23%, roughly 50% of your mark is going to come from parts four and five. Now, if we look at the book itself and what constitutes part four and five, it's quite a thick section of the book, part four and five. What I've suggested to some people in the past, and I've had this borne out by feedback, is that if you do get bogged down in that middle part of the exam, to even if it's only a temporary thing, you know, to get your confidence back, to go to the end of the exam, where you've got questions about the appendices, special installations or locations, and inspection and testing, because you know where you are with them. It's in a fairly clearly defined part of the book. Probably the most important part of this publication for most people is the practice questions. There's uh, two practice exams and then that follows with the exams with the, the answers. I mean, there's lots of stuff available online, uh, lots of uh, practice questions, but um, we need to get into the, the, the mind of City and Guilds, if you like, and the way that those questions are asked. Um, I don't do crossword puzzles, puzzles myself, but somebody said to me, once you know where the... Uh, Pop the crossword puzzle set is coming from you're kind of halfway there and it's a bit the same with this if you know where it's, it's coming from it's uh it does make it that little bit more straightforward at the back of the book under more information you've got suggestions for further reading well there's always a lot of that to be done and you've also got uh some online resources that you could make use of as well and then on the last bit it tells you details of further qualifications that you might choose to go to from from this i mean the I mean, the obvious one would be the inspect and testing qualification. There are the ISBN numbers there for you, uh, or the ISBN number. It's probably the most straightforward way of ordering a publication if you're going to do that. Here's a question for you. I mean, as an electrician, would it be possible to get hold of such a book and study it and then find somewhere to go and do the exam and pass? Well, yes, I would suggest on that one. Uh, if you're going to do that, then first of all, find a centre that's happy to take you and find out the details of uh, the price and etc, etc. Uh, and then, yeah, go ahead. That is possible. The thing is, though, what you would miss out on is what we call in the trade the hidden curriculum. And that is the interaction with other people, you know, learning from other people, hearing their stories about things and the way they do things. And also, obviously, uh, interaction with the tutor. You know, hopefully you get a good tutor that can make things live for you a little bit. Um, I tend to use lots of technical anecdotes of things that I've encountered in the past, things like, you know, vault drop issues and and uh, how, I've, how I've overcome that, you know, just to make it live for people. I mean, some people, quite often, you, you're teaching people who don't have that experience, so that, that can be a real valuable thing for them. Let me know if you get that book and you go down that route. I mean, I might be able to offer you some support. Anyway, um, Sparky Pete signing off. Feedback. Always welcome, um, because nobody knows everything, and there's always more to say.